It's been a while since I looked at a 17 inch laptop. I don't know, there's something compelling, it's a bit different. Generally speaking, you gotta get away from the thin and light design. You gotta get into something bulky. You're now into powerhouse territory. Powerhouse graphics, powerhouse price tag. So today, we are looking at the latest powerhouse from Razer. They now have a Blade Pro at 17 inches with a 4K display and an RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics card. 120 hertz too. 120 hertz too. Look, I don't know what you wanna do with your RTX 2080. If you know what an RTX 2080 is, then you know what you wanna do with it. You understand? We have a ninth gen Intel Core i7 9750H six core processor that can get up to 4.5 gigahertz, Willie do. That's outer space. Mm -hmm. I gotta get out of here. Where's Will? All these bright lights. He, he's like, how do I get out of here? I need this I need this loud guy to put me down. He's looking for some horsepower. 17.3 inch 4K 120 hertz touch display. So I think that model in particular is gonna attract some of the multimedia people, people more like myself. This box in front of me is almost four grand. It's no joke. This is a fancy toy. We're all very aware of that. Oh, and last thing I should mention, it's six pounds. This is not ridiculously heavy for a 17 inch. It's still, it's kind of close to say a MacBook Pro, for example. Mm -hmm. And here's the power brick. Actually, it's similar in size to the 15 inch. And here is the laptop. You got the Razer green. It begins to speak to you. Little matte finish on the top. They, they're doing something with the experience, I will say. Magnetic on the front. Magnetic with the lift. Ooh, pretty thin for the spec list. The typical Razer matte black finish with the green Razer logo in the center. Their approach is the minimal futuristic vibe. Over here, we have a full-size SD card slot. I'm one of the weird ones that still likes to have that, but that's gonna be a Thunderbolt 3 port, I'm fairly certain. We have a traditional USB port, full-size HDMI out. Over on the other side, plenty more ports. We have the power port, full-size ethernet, couple of other USB traditional style ports another Thunderbolt 3 in the form of a USB-C connector and a traditional headphone jack. Lots of port versatility as you'd expect on something like this. It's a one-handed lid. Uh, the more I've looked at laptops here, the more I kind of need that in my life. I'm having 17-inch MacBook Pro flashbacks right now. These large speaker grills over here in the side, the layout, having all this space around a traditional keyboard without the number pad. I'm not a finance guy. When they put the number pad and it offsets my keyboard, I go a little, I go a little wild. I go a little crazy. I'm glad that it's no number pad. I'm glad we have a symmetrical design. Hmm. We got the quick brown fox. No problem. Chiclet style, not a ton of travel. We're all well aware of this. If you're on the gaming side, you might plug an external mechanical keyboard into it. You might have a mouse. Dedicated speaker grills. I hope these things sound okay. This is where speakers should be. Fairly large trackpad that doesn't look as big as it is only because of the prowess of the laptop itself. Hmm. You didn't expect me to use prowess today. Hmm. Okay, power switch. The keyboard comes to life with the backlighting, it's gonna be RGB. All right, so we are in the system now, and I have to say, that's a display. That is a 4K touch display, 17 inches, as you can see, touch capable. Thin side bezels. The laptop itself can kind of shrink a little bit this way. Can we get a nit count, Will? 400 nit brightness, up two. So also, Windows Hello built in, so you can utilize face unlock if you choose to. You probably notice there's no fingerprint scanner anywhere on the deck. Wow, they're also saying 100% Adobe RGB color gamut. So that sort of plays to my original idea of this also being an interesting laptop for creative professionals, not just gamers. The creative professional and the gamer actually somehow have a lot in common, even though their daily life might be different. When it comes to the hardware, there's a lot of crossover, mm -hmm. so it's interesting. I'm realizing right now, this is not enough resolution for this display. The 1080p from downstairs, that's kind of a way you start to appreciate a display is when it begins to showcase to you the limitation of the video caliber. No! Oh. They, they, they're saving up, they've been saving up. Everybody's been waiting for the, 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 aha! The Steve Jobs. 
iPhone 1. And so what that means is as I get close to the phone, it already knows what I'm about to do, and then I pick it up, and it's it, it, it's sort of skipping the first step. Yeah, they paid attention to the speakers. They paid attention. They're loud. It's a package. Razer has put together a package, which is what you would hope for. Can it compel individuals from outside the gaming sphere to be interested in a 17-inch laptop? Maybe Willie Do is the perfect man to ask. He's editing. He's got a thumbnail here and there. He needs to see the stake as it sizzles. The real fidelity, the high quality. Are you interested, Willie Do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I take that one home? That'll be nice. Otis, quiet. We're filming. <clears throat> now the eat. Hey, hey. Go down. Sponsored by Raycon. These are Raycon's latest model of wireless earbuds called the E25s. And as you could probably tell, they're small. Really small. Many people are going to also appreciate the amount of ear tips in the box for that perfect fit for your ear holes. Raycon claims that the earbuds have 6 hours of playtime and 24 hours of battery life with the charging case. It's also rated IP4, weather and sweat resistant. The E25s also have a bunch of colorways to suit your style. Not to mention they're half the price of other premium wireless headbuds. Earbuds. Wireless earbuds. So if you're into them, you can get 15% off by clicking the link below. Check them out.